students i want to explain the boundaries of transverse sinus and the boundaries of oblique sinus in this specimen so you have already seen this specimen and here this is the aorta pulmonary trunk right atrium left atrium so between right atrium and left atrium there is aorta and pulmonary trunk and these are the ventricles so when we turn this specimen to back side so you can see the bifurcation of pulmonary trunk here below the aorta and then this is the superior vena cava and this is the inferior vena cava these are right pulmonary veins sorry left pulmonary veins and these are right pulmonary veins so here in this specimen i am just removing the anterior part so you can see the cavities of left ventricle right ventricle left ventricle right ventricle left atrium and right atrium so how to describe suppose in this i am putting two fingers here below the aorta and the bifurcation of pulmonary trunk so this will be the transverse sinus so this finger it is lying above the left atrium and below the bifurcation of pulmonary trunk so in front we have the aorta and the pulmonary trunk so what are the boundaries of transverse sinus transverse sinus as we know it is a intervisceral space that is it is present between visceral layer of pericardium that is surrounding the pulmonary trunk and aorta and visceral layer of other uh, vessels so in front of this transverse sinus there is aorta and pulmonary trunk so in front so this is the sinus my finger is the sinus aorta and pulmonary trunk then below below what we have is the upper surface of left atrium so this is the left atrium cavity so upper surface of left atrium will be the inferior structure and above above what is there bifurcation of pulmonary trunk bifurcation of pulmonary trunk and behind so behind you can see there is intracardial part of superior vena cava as well as upper margin of left atrium upper margin of left atrium so i think you understood the structures in front aorta and pulmonary trunk below upper surface of left atrium behind upper margin of left atrium and intracardiac part of superior vena cava above this is pulmonary trunk so these are the boundaries of uh, transverse sinus next oblique sinus so oblique sinus as we know it is present between the j shaped serous tube that is the serous tube which is surrounding the veins so this is the oblique sinus so what are the boundaries of oblique sinus as simple as we know on the right side they are inferior vena cava so this is the oblique sinus right side there is inferior vena cava and right pulmonary veins and left side we have the left pulmonary veins and anteriorly that is left atrium will be there so this is the left atrium that will be lying anteriorly and posteriorly we have the parietal layer covering the surface so all this is visceral layer and parietal layer will be on this surface like this above so posteriorly there will be parietal layer of serous pericardium and above we have the upper margin of left atrium so anteriorly we have the left atrium posteriorly parietal layer of serous pericardium on the right side we have inferior vena cava and left, right pulmonary veins on the left side we have left pulmonary veins and above we have the upper margin of left atrium so here we are seeing upper margin of left atrium is the structure which is present between oblique sinus so it is forming the upper boundary as well as the transverse sinus where it is forming the posterior boundary